absolute conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you the all new UB Tech Alpha 1 Pro. This here is the brand new version of the Alpha 1 that we previously reviewed, in which is actually one of my most favorite robots. Now, this particular robot has a few new features which I'm really excited to see, not to mention the design is actually a little bit different too. So in this video here, first we'll go ahead and unbox it, then take a look at the differences, and then go ahead and give it a test drive and see what it's all about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what's on the inside. Alright, so this here is our box. Uh, again, you know, very identical to the previous Alpha 1 box. So you do see the robot here on the cover and it says Alpha 1 series. Now this here is a great carrying case just because it actually houses the robot quite well. And then it just goes ahead and slides right up just like that. And on the top here, I'll say, you know, a little bit more in terms of the robot itself. Talks more about their mission statement and then how to go ahead and hold them. So you always want to hold them from the battery pack, not from the head or the arm or the leg, as you do put more stress on the servos. So let's go ahead and lift this up and wow, check that out. There is our new Alpha 1 Pro. Uh, it's kind of sitting in there. Always a great idea. Just kind of put them back in here. It keeps them away from dust. Keeps them away from other harm. So just keep that in mind as well. So the robot itself looks really, really nice. So let's go ahead and lift them up for now and uh, see what else is in here. And then over here we have ourselves a quick little startup guide. Uh, so this here is our user guide. Uh, inside here we'll have a quick little booklet in terms of how to go ahead and boot them up. As well as set them up and we have ourselves a guarantee. Oh, and we have ourselves some stickers uh, among a few other different things. So let's see what else we have in here. Uh, we have ourselves a charging cable as well as a power adapter. Alright, so this here is our robot. Uh, so overall it's actually got a very nice finish to it. Uh, it does have a lot of nice different panels to it. Uh, on the back here you got yourselves a uh, emergency stop button, a power button, as well as a USB cable to go ahead and plug it. And then you have our DC 9.6 volt uh, a power uh, cord right here. So you have a power LED on the back here and then you always go ahead and screw these and replace the battery in case if you ever need to do so. Now overall it actually looks really nice. You got yourself a speaker up here on the top as well as two LEDs among LEDs within the servos. So just keep that in mind. Alright, so comparing it to the previous Alpha, one thing you notice is the material itself. So this has a very nice high finish gloss to it, as well as this has a very matte finish to it. So it's actually got a much more solid and durable feel to it, and it's got better housing materials all over its body, as well as among more quieter servos, so that's actually very nice to have, especially in a robot of this nature, just because it's an entertainment robot, so it's constantly moving. And then it also has a detachable battery, which the previous one doesn't, a new main board, a Bluetooth, as well as an improved speaker, which is always great, as well as a new emergency stop feature. Now, definitely a very nice robot the nonetheless, and in terms of the two differences, the actual upgrade itself is actually well worth it. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and fire up our new Alpha 1 Pro and kind of see what he does. Alright, so our robot is finally ready to go. So this here is the main hub. So the main hub allows you to go ahead and download a variety of different actions from songs to dances to even stories. Literally this robot has it all and literally you can go ahead and just go ahead and expand on it as much as you want. Now the nice thing about it is you can create your own events and actually share it with the uh, community itself so people can download it and you'll actually even get a notification about it as well. So we're going to click on our robot itself. So this here is like action demo, gamepad, create an action, logic programming and courses. So the action demo allows you to go ahead and download different actions that you can go and play in the robot. Gamepad allows you to create your own gamepads that you can use for instance if you're doing fighting, soccer, etc. Create action allows you to create your own custom actions that are animations that you can go ahead and share with the world. And then logic programming allows you to go ahead and program the robot and expand on it in terms of like STEM education goes. So let's click on action demo. Now action demo has a few different things in here. So I already have some that are pre-downloaded. So we'll click on presentation extended edition. So the robot will kind of tell a little bit more about itself. Hello everyone, I am Alpha. I come from other robotics. Even though I'm a small robot, I have many entertaining skills. I can say, yeah, and tell stories. I can stage a wonderful performance. I have performed in commercial activities and a new product launch event many times. And even I have a bit of part in some films. I am more than a toy. Everyone can improve my skills by programming and operating a PC. By connecting me to a laptop and opening up 3D software, you can create many new actions for me. My creators will also keep the actions library for a hope of a PC updated and will notify you when any such updates are available. In a word, I am an intelligent humanoid robot that interacts with you and keeps you entertained. Thank you. 
Daniel will do a little bow to finish this presentation. All right, so besides that, there's a few other animations. For instance, we have a push-up. Let's see how that works out. Oh, one-handed. <laughs> Yeah, I have yet to see another robot that can do a one-handed push-up. So that's actually really awesome. Uh, so we have a few other things as well. So you can go ahead and do a few different dances, songs, stuff like that. Now, uh, GamePad itself is a really interesting concept as well. So if you click on Gladiator. So this here is a controller, uh, which allows you to go ahead and control the robot in terms of like a fighting stance goes. All right, so we have ourselves some movements. So we can go ahead and make them like turn left. We can make them turn right. Uh, we can have them rotate move forward, backwards, and then we have a few different punches as well. So this here is a uh, upper punch. Check that out, whoa! <laughs> and then we have ourselves another punch, which is like a side punch. So you're always gonna use those in a fighting stance. And then if he does fall down, we can always get him back up. So if he falls back, just like that, you press this button here, and he is back up again. So that is Gladiator, so let's click on back. Uh, we have Soccer Player as well. So Soccer Player allows you to go ahead and use animations to kick a ball. So you can always go ahead and use these characters in a soccer game, which is always fun as well. All right, so this here is Soccer. Uh, so you know, very similar controls in terms of Gladiator. So you have yourselves a movement. Uh, so you can always go ahead and like rotate the robot the way you want and make him walk. But you also have the kick feature. So this will kick a ball right in front of him. So you can see that. And then uh, we have a few other things. So this here is like, a, like for instance, if the ball's coming and he's a goalie, he'll go ahead and dive it, block it just like that. So you're always gonna go ahead and do it, things like that. And again, you know, if he falls over, you can always wanna uh, get him back up as well. So if we click on settings here, we always can go ahead and uh, customize our own gamepad. So based on what kind of movie you like or what movie you download, you can always go ahead and put that in the gamepad as well. So that's always nice and we're always going to click on add a new character. So if you click on add a new character, this will go ahead and create a new gamepad. So you can always go ahead and use your own custom animations and apply that to a gamepad. So if I make my own fighting moves or my own kind of like dance feature, we can always go ahead and do something along that nature. So that is that in terms of gamepad goes. All right, so let's go ahead and click on create action. So create action is a feature that allows you to go ahead and create your own custom animations, uh, be it adding music, uh, special move, etc. So what we're going to do is we're first going to click on the body part that we want to move. Right now all servers are locked so if I try moving it, it's not going to move. But if I click on first is this one right here and I hit plus, uh, I can go ahead and move it just the, base, the way I want it, just like that. And if I hit plus again, and then if I just go ahead and hit preview, it will show you what we make. So I'm going to hit play. So that is the animation that I made. So it's actually pretty cool, you know, the concept that you can create your own custom animations just like that. And then you just go ahead and save it and you can go ahead and implement that into the robot in terms of like the, this community itself or if you're creating your own gamepad. So I'm gonna go ahead and click delete for now. And then I'm gonna click on these default moves here. So we have like warrior. So you can add these uh, special moves as well. Uh, we can do like uh, stoop. Uh, so I'll do one of these, and I hit plus, and then if I do something like raising left hand, whoa! <laughs> so try that as well, uh, and let's hit play. <laughs> so yeah, that kind of gives you an idea what you can do with that, so you can create your own animations as that. And then if I click on music, I can always go ahead and add my own song to it, and then if I play... So I can go ahead and create my own custom dances. And they make it really simple in that sense goes. Now we have other ones as well. So we have like uh, dance actions, uh, different walks, twists, uh, and uh, among the different kind of animations, which is really nice. So you always wanna create your own stuff and just kind of have fun with it, which is really nice because it makes programming or STEM education very easy. Uh, it kind of teaches you step by step how these things work. So it makes your mind kind of think outside of the box. Now, logic programming, this here is more for something more in terms of advanced users goes. So you can create your own animations using coding, which is always nice, because it allows you to go ahead and get the full potential out of the robot itself. All right, so this here is our coding features. So I can just go into a built-in action, click on that right there. Uh, and then I can go ahead and create motions and make it like walk forward. Uh, and then I can go ahead and like do different shows and events, uh, make a play of sounds. So let's do three seconds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make Alpha walk forward slowly for three seconds and then play an elephant sound. So hit run. One, two, three. <laughs> 
So kind of gives you an idea what you can do with that. So you can always go ahead and create your own show so you can connect to multiple robots. Uh, so we can have uh, both of our alphas running at the same time. So we can want to create our own like little show for people, which is really a nice idea as well. All right, so the next one I'm gonna show you is this like a pre-programmed dance that you can download. Uh, so just kind of give you an idea what exactly Alpha can do. Now no, they do have a lot of other songs that are copyright, but for this sake of this kind of video, I'm not gonna show you those, uh, just because uh, YouTube's uh, restrictions. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this right now. So this here is just a, one of the dances. So check out these moves, holy moly. Now let's go put them in the middle, there you go. That is awesome. Crazy how fast these servos are. Holy moly. <laughs> go Alpha. Go Alpha. Go Alpha. Go Alpha. <laughs> All right. Good job, Alpha. So, you know, kind of gives you an idea of what this robot is capable of. Obviously, there's a lot of expanding that you could do with it. Uh, so, kind of gives you an idea of what the whole idea behind this robot is and in terms of what you can uh, download and in terms of an entertainment robot goes, this is probably one of the far most advanced uh, just because it actually has a lot of different capabilities as well as updates with this particular robot. Not to mention they're constantly downloading different things. Uh, I mean, like, literally you have a lot. Like, look, check this out. This here is yoga. I mean, like, how crazy is that yoga so uh, so this here is uh, a course watch this so he's doing stretches and then you have to follow this robot and do these stretches at the same time I mean how is that that's awesome like really like a robot doing yoga <laughs> so you know see so who needs a yoga instructor when you can follow your alpha <laughs> All right, so, you know, kind of gives you an idea of what this robot is about again. Uh, and with that being said, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this video about the new Alpha 1 Pro. Definitely a huge improvement overall. I would have to say it's more efficient uh, and definitely it runs a lot more smoother than the previous model. Especially if you are a big Alpha fan, I would definitely recommend getting this. And if you're looking for an entertainment robot goes, this is probably one of the best ones out there currently just because it's the most advanced and that sense goes. Now, if you guys have any questions at all about particularly Alpha 1 Pro, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.